Hello friends, uh, I'm here to let you know who the winner of our giveaway is, but you have to wait and watch the whole video. At the end, I will announce the winner of the Starbucks little price package I had last week. If you didn't enter, you missed out because this is a pretty cool price package. But don't worry, I'm gonna have more giveaways coming up, so make sure you're subscribed hit the notifications so you know when the giveaways are going to be. Hello friends, this is Veronica from House of Sid where we make videos on coffee recipes, coffee reviews, coffee adventures, and all things from the world of coffee and you know what time it is it's time for some cafecito and today's cafecito coffee of the day is going to be the highly anticipated highly talked about in the world of nespresso the limited edition pumpkin spice cake so make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you know when new videos are coming out i have a lot of recipes that I want to share with you and um, also if you have an idea for a video you would like me to make if there's something that you want me to try or a recipe that you would want me to show a video on please leave me a comment and let me know so like I said it's cafecito time so let's get started so these are the new well new for the season limited edition pumpkin spice cake capsules and these are for the virtual line which is this machine and yeah they're you know new for the fall they just were released i believe early mid-september um and i just got some last week they were delivered um here to my home and i've been dying to try them and share with you guys and show you a recipe that I actually found on the Nespresso website or Nespresso Nespresso Instagram. So they call it the double caramel pumpkin coffee macchiato. Sounds delicious. And just the picture alone is beautiful so I'm going to try and recreate not only the recipe but I want my coffee to look like that because it just looks really beautiful delicious awesome so let's talk a little bit about the pumpkin spice like I said it's a limited edition so it's only available for a limited time during the fall season so if you own an espresso virtual machine and you want to try it get it now um so it has, it's 7.7 um, .7 ounces, so it's like the larger coffee, and it's not very strong. It's only a 5 out of 11 intensity. If you're familiar with um, Nespresso capsules, they have these intensities right here. This one's only a 5, which is okay. Um, I don't think this would taste good if it was too super strong. Pumpkin so spice cake. Um, so yeah, insider tip, they say to make this with milk. The spice notes are softened for a sweeter and smoother coffee. Um, I'm a fan of all these spices. Nutmeg, cardamom, cinnamon, and of course pumpkin. Um, who doesn't love pumpkin spice in the fall? I know, not everybody loves it, but I do. So we're going to make this recipe, and this is what you need. And I'm following their directions um, and I will link to this um, it's on their Instagram but I will link to it so you guys can see it and I will leave the directions and ingredients in the description below so we need caramel syrup which I have here the Torani I'm using the sugar free because this is what I have feel free to use non sugar free so um, sugar free Caramel syrup, just the classic. And it says caramel sauce, which I also have the Torani caramel pure made sauce. 
And these are usually found in most places like Target, Walmart, grocery stores. I actually bought this at Vons. This one I bought at Ross. So check all those stores, Ross, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Walmart. You can find these um, basic flavors everywhere now. You're also gonna need some cinnamon, just ground cinnamon. And a capsule. Oh, I haven't shown you guys the capsules. Look at these. The beautiful capsules. And I love that about um, Nespresso. Their capsules are beautiful colors. They have like little leaf shapes on it. You guys can see that. They're just so pretty. So we're gonna need one of these. So this is how you make this. You guys ready? You have all your ingredients. I'm going to assemble it. First of all, we need to add caramel syrup to the bottom glass. And the, it says half an ounce. So, um, I don't have an me ounce measuring, so I'm using uh, teaspoons, tablespoons, and per my conversion, it says two to one. So whatever ounces, you times it by two, I believe. So it'd be one tablespoon, something like that. We're gonna go with it. So, so we measure our syrup and it actually goes on the bottom of the cup. So you're gonna put the syrup in the cup. Then you're going to froth the milk. I have my milk here, which it says three ounces, which is like a little under half a cup. I have half a cup because I like it milky. Oh, wait, I'm not done yet. So you're going to froth your milk and you're going to add the cinnamon to your milk. A quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Cinnamon into the milk and the frother. And then it says um, caramel sauce. So we're also going to add caramel sauce to this and it says a quarter teaspoon but a quarter is two. I don't think that's enough. We're going to add about half a teaspoon of caramel. Can't let that go to waste. Okay. So now that we've done that, we froth it. And while that is frothing, I gotta make sure my machine is on. I have enough water. I have my capsule. There is another recipe that I will probably try as well. It's a white chocolate pumpkin spice latte. I think that's what it is and it sounds amazing. My frother broke. It's not working. Why, oh why is it not working? Okay, there it is. Woo, scared me for a minute. Um, like I was saying, there is another recipe, white chocolate pumpkin spice, so I may try that one as well. Let me know if you wanna see that recipe. Um, but I would have not thought to make I don't know what's going on with this. I would have not thought to mix caramel with pumpkin, but it sounds good, so why not? You guys, I don't know why my milk isn't frothing. My machine is not cooperating today. Very, very weird. So, lesson learned. Always have a backup handheld whisk frother for your milk. Um, this works pretty good too. The only thing is if you are using this for a hot drink, you do have to um, heat up your milk first. And this did heat up my milk because I see the um, little steam coming off of it, but I don't know why it was, it stopped too soon. It stopped too soon, so it wasn't frothed well enough. 
but that's okay. That's why we have the little cheap handheld frother, which sometimes it's funny, some of these little cheap, cheap things are better than the fancy things. Can't always be too bougie, right? Okay. So yeah, that's really frothy. So um, I'm going to pour the milk in here. So you guys see, I'm pouring the froth milk. In. Ooh, see how frothy that got? Wow, that might be too much. Okay. Well, we will try it and see if it doesn't. Bill. So now we're going to brew our coffee into the froth milk. There you go. You guys, is it going to overflow? Who wants to make a bet it's going to overflow or not? Whoa. Yeah, that was a little bit too much milk. So, um, half a cup is maybe a little... Well, if you have a bigger cup, my cup is kind of small. Woo! Okay, there, I'm gonna stop it. So, if you're gonna make this drink and use half a cup of milk, make sure you have a bigger glass a bigger mug <laughs> which I wanted to use a bigger mug but this one has it's clear so you get to see all the pretty beautiful colors and layers okay let me take care of this for a second I'll be right back there we are and then the recipe says you can dust a little um, more cinnamon or drizzle with caramel so I'm going to there's a little bit more caramel in there. And because I just love a little cinnamon, a little canela, I'm gonna just dust a little bit more. Okay, we're done. Double caramel, because you're using two caramels. Pumpkin spice macchiato is what they're calling it. You guys see that? Does it look yummy? Does it look good? It smells really good. Okay. So let's give it a taste. Ooh, I taste the spices. Let me mix it up a little bit. Caramel, cloves and cinnamon. Ooh, that's really good actually. It's not super pumpkin-y, um, which I was expecting a little bit more pumpkin spice. Well, it's spicy. You could definitely taste the spices, not so much the pumpkin, which is okay because I think a lot of people don't like the strong pumpkin flavor. I prefer a little more pumpkin flavor, but that's just me. But this is really good with the caramel. Uh, as a little bit of sweetness, but not too much. Ooh, that's actually really good. Really, really tasty. Uh, makes me feel all cozy and warm and fuzzy inside for the fall. Can't wait for it to actually start getting cold because we're still like in the 80s here in California. Well, that's really good. Definitely give it a try. I recommend trying the pumpkin spice cake from Nespresso if you have a virtual machine. Try it out. It's really good. I'm actually surprised at this recipe. I didn't think the caramel and the pumpkin spice would be too good together, but it's actually really good. Mm. Two thumbs up.
from House of Sid. We recommend it. Um, if you want me to try the other recipe, leave me a comment, let me know. I will gladly show you the white pumpkin spice latte. Um, so yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, like our videos, give them a thumbs up, share with your friends, your family, all the people that love coffee. And that's all I have for you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, leave me a comment if you have an idea or a suggestion of another recipe or video you would like me to make. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Mm -mm -mm. This was really good. Oh, you guys, you guys want to know who the winner is, right? Um, I'm just enjoying my little cafecito. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put the cafecito down and I'm going to let you know who the winner is. So um, I used a random comment picker from all the entries and the winner of the Starbucks price package is Stephanie Nasca. Congratulations, Stephanie. Email me um, letting me know um, your home address, your shipping address, and I will be sending out this price package to you very shortly. Um, so like I said, make sure you're subscribed, have the notifications on so you know when my other videos are coming up and when I have another giveaway. So thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye. Congratulations. Hope you enjoy your prize. <laughs>